it's our most raw record, and I'd say sonically it's darker. Since being here and you know watching some people record that record quickly and you know record live became a goal for us early on when we were writing the record um, before we had started composing the songs. Yeah, like, um, you know, we didn't want the record to sound overthought. The only ways that we knew how to really produce that sound would be to, to not get tedious about it and to not give ourselves time to overthink it. And that also meant that we had to do a lot of preparation before we got there so that they weren't just, you know, half-baked ideas. Almost as soon as we finished the last record, it seemed like, okay, well, next record, Let's just get in a room and play and record. You can feel that spirit in those recordings. You can sense that. And maybe that's something we wanted to explore more, especially coming from maybe some of the other ways that we've recorded previously. Arrange the colors in a different shade. All the glitter on the ocean. And the difference is you. Yeah, it's the, the quickest time in between albums for us. And, um, you know, fortunately, we've never really had a shortage of material. Each album going in, we've always had a lot of songs, and there's a lot of development that takes place within a typical two-year album cycle. We, we wanted it to be a snapshot of a smaller time frame. Hanging by a and we were, we were also really lucky to get hooked up with Jim Scott, who, who produced the record. And he was encouraging us not only to, to track song by song but to track and then mix one song at a time and move on like that and that was like super exciting for us three i think we all kind of were surprised at how much we enjoyed that rhythm and going from one idea if you think the song is you know as a whole and you record it and and you might do an overdub or two and you mix it all in that one day basically and then the next day you wake up fresh and start on the next sort of idea the next song and that was it was really fun, so we were fortunate. He's the part of the equation that goes, hey, it's not getting better on take nine. You know, the magic is happening in take one or two, you know. And this way, everyone was in the room all the time working on, on the songs. And if it wasn't great right then, then that means, you know, go perform it better. Every moment and every decision is so much easier when you have someone like Jim that you can trust. And, and I think that's a fun part of doing the record like that is that it, it lends itself to those moments and experiences and we might as well have fun doing this so it's cool to walk away and go, oh man, that was a good night. Yeah, it translates and there's no way to artificially create that, you know, it's something that you know performance innately has There's so much that I think it is.